If we now plug in for epsilon, our last tangent, epsilon double prime over epsilon prime, or since we were given sigma uh, for this, we would probably just use this ratio. And then if we plug in now 4 over 2 pi, and our frequency now is 100 gigahertz, so that's 100 times 10 to the ninth, and multiply that times epsilon naught and times 80, we're going to get a value that's really close to 0.01. And as f gets higher and higher and higher, it's still going to, it's going to be even more of a low loss dielectric. So we can say for frequencies greater than or equal to about 100 gigahertz, the material, the material is a, the ocean acts like a low loss dielectric.